today's video we are making the lining, attaching the handles and doing the feet. Okay, so it's week five and here we are with the instructions for creating the lining. So I have finished my bag, I have finished crocheting it and I think it's worked out really well. Um, and now I'm just going to measure everything that I need to cut the pieces of my fabric. So I have got my tape measure here and I'm just going to measure the diameter of the base which is about yeah um, 27 yeah 27 28 centimeters so I always add a um, centimeter for the seam allowance uh, so we add one here and we add one on the other side so 29 centimeters okay and that's just about 11 and a half inches so let's write that down 29 okay and then we're going to measure the height of the bag so from the top all the way and that's about 28 centimeters as well okay so again I am going to add a seam at the bottom and a seam at the top so that's 29 centimeters and now I am going to measure the circumference of the bag just to know how much uh, fabric I need um, sort of you know a rough guide because I you know I sort of do it um you know I'll, I'll i'll amend it to the base and that's about 90 centimeters so i'll do about 91 92 91 um and of course 90 centimeters is about 36 35 36 uh, inches so do make sure you measure your own bag carefully and I'm also going to create some pockets. So I am thinking maybe the pocket should be about this height. So on the inside, of course, they will be. So about 13 centimeters. So 14 centimeters for the pockets, uh, just so that I can put stuff in them. So let's get cutting for this fabric. Okay, we need to cut out a circle of 28 centimeters diameter. And I am just going to do this the way I know how to do it, uh, which makes sense to me. I don't know whether there is a better way, whatever. I'm, you know, I'm not trained in uh, sewing. I just do what I think is best. So I've sort of got my measurement here, um, 28 centimeters. Can you see that? Yeah. So I'm thinking it'll be in this area here. So I've got um, here with the seam allow so i've got a point here which is at 14 centimeters then i put a point here which is at 28 but here and then one hang on one and then the seam so here so i'm cutting that one and this one okay then i put this back to the 14 so it's a middle again and i do the same thing there um and 29 there we go see that okay so so I've got to cut that out using this I have already cut out my other pieces of fabric uh, so one the big one here 
is 30 centimeters tall and this one is about 56 um, 15 centimeters tall and the length was just the width of my fabric so it's a lot more than 90 centimeters because I just want to make sure I have enough when I put it around the circle um, and I use a rotary cutter and one of these on my mat because that's from the times when I did um, you know um, patchwork goodness me I couldn't think of it then and I discovered that actually that's a really good way of cutting without getting the jagged edges when you use scissors but of course now so I've cut these out I'll show you those in a moment um, but now of course I'm going to have to use the scissors because um, you know it's not easy to cut or in the circle with your rotary cutter so okay am I going to do this on camera yeah, and see, I am notorious for adding yet another bit of seam allowance. So yeah, I always end up with far too much seam allowance, but I have to say it has saved me in certain instances as well. So yeah, <laughs> so I'm adding a few millimeters again, but never mind, it all works out in the end. Or I think it does anyway. Or it does for me. <laughs> I'm sure that there's some of you shouting at the screen for me to do it differently. Um, I apologise. It works for me. You know, never mind. Eh? As long as it floats your boat. <laughs> okay, so this is the leftover of my fabric. I'm just going to... This is really nice. Not having a... There goes my... Um, measuring tape I might as well chuck that behind it <laughs> don't need that anymore so we've got the base of our bag and let's just see if it actually does fit see that's my thing is keep on trying it on okay um, with crochet as well look that's perfect look it sort of has a little edges sticking up and that's perfect because that then is my seam see so that's big enough okay so that's my base. Uh, first of all, I am going to see these are my pockets. So first of all, I am going to do a little seam to do the edge of the pockets. OK, so I'm going to sew that. OK, so I am pinning this uh, to make a little edge because obviously we don't want it unraveling uh, the edge of our pockets. So. I normally would have done this without even pinning it. I normally just hold it down and sew it. But to save myself from falling further from your grace, <laughs> I thought I might as well just make the effort <laughs> and pin it the way you're supposed to do it. Or even, this is even not the way I'm supposed to, you're supposed to do it, but there we go. Um, it's not that easy to pin this fabric because it's not just cotton. It's not thin cotton. This is like upholstery fabric that they use for um, for curtains and I like this type of fabric because it's nice and thick and it's um, yeah you can you know you can use it for things like this as well for bags it's ideal so I fold it twice so I don't have to do the seam first and then um, sew it so I just fold it and fold it again there we go um, there we go so see this is how I'm doing it so I've just got a little bit to do here now <clears throat> I have as you can see here I have some uh, sewing thread bobbins um, this one is what I would say is you know the closest match almost this is a blue yeah this one would be better I think but I like using a contrasting um, see you know contrasting thread so I thought I might use this one um, yeah you will see if I go wrong you will see it but there you go <laughs> it's my project <laughs> and it's for myself so I'm not too worried and you know it shows off my artistry <laughs> or not <laughs> oh never mind eh okay so because we sort of this is the colors that I've been using in my thing you know yeah I'm gonna go for this one uh, I have got my under thread is also this 
So, um, you know, I'm just going to add this to there, move it along a little bit and I will be sewing. And so we are ready to get started. nice looking or should have been looking nicely it's not very straight but it doesn't matter uh, and this is my lining for my pockets so now I am going to get the big lining a big piece of lining and I am going to put this let me just move this out of the way there we go so you can see what I am doing hopefully so this is my big lining. Now I'm going to put, place this on top of there, like so. And I am just going to, do you know what I was going to say? I'm just going to crochet along here. <laughs> I'm just going to sew along there. I've put them edge to edge there because of course now we have to create the pockets, the dividers. So. Let me just do that. There we go. Okay, and I'm holding them together nicely. And I've got like about the side, I've got the, I've, I'm, I'm working to the side of the foot here. Because obviously that will disappear later on in the seam but it just is for now for keeping it together and now I am going to make the pockets so I like having a pocket for uh, my crochet hook I like having a pocket for my crochet hook like so so that means I, I make a few thin ones I make a few wider ones for the scissors things like that so that's what I'm going to do now so I'm just going to hold my fabric on top of there now I have to remember of course that I'm not going to be using all of it so this is too long so I need to make sure that I sort of finish making pockets here because I'm not going to be using that but that's okay I, I don't mind about that um, I just want to make sure that I have some pockets here maybe sort of do uh, something like let me show you uh, oh I can't pick up my thing yeah here we are So maybe I could, uh, you know, sort of do a pocket of 15, then one of five for crochet hooks, then of 10 for scissors, then of 15, something like that. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, so let me now sew these. Okay, <laughs> this, is, this is quite a new experience, I tell you. It's difficult enough doing crochet videos, now I'm doing this. Oh yeah, okay, I need to make sure that it is actually going straight, straight down. <laughs> See, there's the first mistakes I am making. Oh wow there and then where else let's have another pin to put that there okay 
Yes. Do not send this to anyone who's a seamstress, okay? Please. So there we are, there's my first pocket. Of course, it's open at the bottom because we are going to sew it to the round circle at the base. So I'm going to continue doing the rest of the pockets now. Um, and yeah, what I did just now, uh, I just followed one of the thread. I just followed one of the threads going round, going down to keep me straight, but I think that's fine. Okay, I will see you when I have done that. Right, okay, so I've made my pockets on my inside of the lining and now I am going to pin the base to it. Of course, this was the one with the dot, so we need to keep that on the outside. So if I put it like this, then it will be down. And what I do is I start by putting, by pinning the uh, circle to like this. To the lining like so look okay and then you take another pin i find them everywhere towards the end <laughs> and actually i think i should have done it in the other direction pin it like this look there we go i think that's better oh come on don't come out again there we go okay so let me just continue doing that and showing you. I think the smaller pins are better for this. There we go. And you sort of, as you move your edge of your circle to the straight bit, you will see that it starts curling up. Or, you know, sort of going into the circle as well. See? Look. So we will go this way first, and then we will go the other way. And yeah, I might be putting too many pins. Um, there are ways, there are better ways of doing this. You should be, I'm sure you, I should be sewing it by hand first or gluing it or something like that. But yeah, I have I seem to have a lot more patience when it comes to crocheting something than when I'm doing this kind of thing. Um, see, I'm getting better now. This is the kind of distance that you need. There we go. Uh, and if I have to sort of, I know I'm now sort of adding and my seam allowance and my uh, extra seam allowance. Uh, if it is too big, I don't mind going round again to make it slightly, oh that's a needle, to make it slightly small and I think that will be easier than trying to do this in the right size in the first place. I don't know whether that makes sense but yeah, uh, as you can tell I am not very good at sewing tutorials. I'm just keeping you entertained basically <laughs> while you're crocheting. <laughs> oh dear, look. See, this is where we're at now. So this is what we need to do all the way round. So I'm going to do this. Oh, the cats, because everything is everywhere at the moment in the lounge, because of course I got my sewing out. Um, you know, they're running around like mad cats, basically. Um, taking advantage of the fact that there's stuff everywhere to jump over and anyway right so because I'm using a lot of pins it will be um, you know slow to sew but that's okay might as well take our time a little bit so here I'm going to stop because I will need some um, allowance here for maybe just one more for my seam there and somebody must be shouting at the screen now saying, don't do that first, you need to do this one, you need to do that seam first. At the moment, I don't know what I'm doing first. So I just do it 
um, and I make it work basically. Um, see, look, if I then roll this to there, to there. Yeah, I think actually that's going to work out. Yeah, that's going to give me another pocket about here. So that's good because obviously I didn't do one here because it's too long. Okay, so I'm going to continue doing this and I will be back when I've done that. Okay, so I do really want to show you this, right? So this is my sewing machine, that the desk set up, my tripod, which is like here, you know, sort of suspended above everything. Um, so I can angle it towards the sewing machine. My computer's over there. The, that's the cabinet where I keep my sewing machine. Look, cat is over there. New blanket is over there. Stash Buster blanket is over there. Cat is over there. And yeah, everything is just about everywhere. <sighs> but I'm getting there. I am getting there. It's okay. <laughs> See you in a moment. Okay, so I have put the pins in all around the base. And now, of course, I've got the sides attached to it. And so I kept going until the side met with the opposite side here and I'm just putting a pin there and then I'm making sure that this is at the same height here of course here if this doesn't meet that doesn't matter because that's too much anyway so that will be folded over anyway nobody's going to see that so now the question is is this big enough is this going to fit so I am just going to try and fold it nicely sort of hold it nicely hang on a minute like so Okay, and make it into a nice shape. Okay, so this is the inside. And now I'm going to try and put it into my bag. I know you can't see. I'll show you in a moment. I need both hands at the moment anyway. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's put this in there. And earlier the uh, base fit, so... <clears throat> yeah, okay, that was a needle sticking out. <laughs> right, so this is what it's looking like at the moment. Um, it's looking okay. Obviously, I don't know what it's going to be like. Oh, I hit my finger with that really hurt, that needle, that prick. But never mind. Okay, so let's start sewing it together. And then uh, if it's too big, I shall sort of re-sew it. But hopefully it will work like this. So I am just going to get started sort of like this and going around doing all the pins and I'm going to try and make sure that there we go uh, try and make sure that I stay sort of the same width away from my um, edge <laughs> sorry I'm trying to um, you know, position the camera so that you can see. There we go. Right, okay. So, yeah. I always end up doing more than my seam allowance was. There we go. Something like that. Right. Ah, I know. See, there's always indications on the, on the side, so that's where I'm going to work to. Okay. Right. Let's get started. I'm not going to do a back and forth because then it's easier to undo. <laughs> If it needs undoing. <laughs> okay.
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to not do the last 10 cent five, 10 centimeters because if I do have to uh, do it again, then I have some leeway for the side. Then I have some leeway for the side here, okay? So let me now put this into the bag. So we'll do that later. We'll sort it after we've tried it out. Okay, let's see if this fits. Let's bring this one up and bring this one like so. Okay, let me show you. Right, so I'm going down with my fingers to the seam there and pushing it down there, pushing it down all over and I'll just fold this over. All right, oh, that's looking nice. Maybe I should just, yeah, do you know what? I'm just gonna cut that off there because that will help because I am now sure I don't need the extra. Right, okay, so that's no longer needed. Now we can do this exercise again. A pin there. Right, so I'll be sewing that up in a moment. But first I am going to finish doing this one. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I am not going to go and touch this seam. Just okay, I just stopped before I touched the side because if it all go if it all does go wrong, then at least I haven't sewn this bit up just yet. Okay, so let me just fold this open again and let me sew this bit here. So now I have to do put these bits together this way. And I'm going to get started right next to the base where it's, see, that's quite thick. And once again, I'm just following a thread in the fabric. Okay, so here I know that my pockets are meeting. So that's going to be a good look for the inside. There we go. Right. Okay. <laughs> and now all I have to do really is make sure that this is open, the seam here is open, and that I'm going to go over it like this just to finish it. But before I do that, look on the inside and see that it's all okay. Yeah, this is looking. Do you know what? I'm surprising myself here. It's looking really good. Look at that. Hang on. You can't see a thing, can you? Right. Bring this up. There we go. Look. See? Okay, 
Now, what I tend to do when there's so much stuff everywhere, I do tend to just cut that off uh, with my scissors just to make it um, less bulky everywhere. So I'm just going to go around and cut a smaller... No, you can't see that. I'm just going to cut a smaller um, seam everywhere so things are less bulky. Make sure you do not cut into whatever it is that you've just created, you know, that doesn't need cutting basically. And that also will just finish it nicely and there will be less bulk. make it look a little bit tidier there we go see and this goes straight in the bin okay and now here I am also going to just shorten this because obviously there's no need and yeah I've got all that there so I just leave it like that that is our lining done so all we need to do now is attach it into our bag now first thing we need to do is put the feet on <laughs> these feet um, I have been wanting to use these in a project for such a long time but I always forget to put them on and you have to put them in before you put the lining Right, so this is the bottom of the base and I am going to just put them, see if I can get them in. Oh, that went in easily. There, like so. What do we think? Mm -hmm. Find a hole. There, okay. And then what you have to do, hopefully they didn't fall out. Yeah, they're not fallen out what you have to do then is you open them up so one thing one way I'll show you in a moment one thing the other okay See? so there are two things and you put one thing you fold it. Yeah, doing this one handed is not the easiest of things. There we go, in between now. So you fold one thing one way and then the other the other way. There we go. So you just here. That's that satisfying noise. <laughs> okay, let me put this back into the holder. And let me do the other ones. I'm so glad I remembered I had these because... Oh, folding it the wrong way now. Because like I said, I've been wanting to use these for since the first time I bought them. And that's two or three years ago now. do that all day it says uh, 20 to 30 centimeters a thin layer uh, okay and I think it says shake as well somewhere does it say shake 
shake before use. Okay, we're shaking anyway. Might as well. Okay. <laughs> this smells very gluey. wipe the camera lens just in case okay I'm back so I spent ages putting it in um, I sprayed the inside and I just tried to make sure it was all nice and flat everywhere and I also cut some of this off because of course it was far too long and then I sort of folded it over now like this and so this is how I am going to be doing the lining in there um, with hot glue so I am just going to attach this edge here with hot glue and hopefully that will keep that together. But yeah, in the meantime, I've sort of, you know, kept on trying to put it in really nicely like this. And so this is what it's looking like at the moment. Okay, so I think it's all good. It just needs to be sort of pressed against the side just to sort of adhere that glue that I've sprayed into it and sometimes you get a little thing and then I just undo it again and then that's why it's been taking me so long because I've been doing this you know making sure that it looks nice see getting rid of a few of those creases there we go see look and because it's temporary adhesive, of course, you can just keep doing that until you're happy with it. And there we go. Yeah, so I cut off some of this and I folded it over in there just to, you know, sort of to see what it would look like. So I will um, finish that in a moment. Right, there we go. Now first we're going to have a look at the handles. So I am taking my webbing and I am going to cut it in two. That gives me a meter on each side. And then I am going to thread it through here, through my little loop. And there. Okay, so once again, I am going to try and make sure that my end is on the inside. Do you know what? I'm just going to maybe it works. Well, it's not going to be permanent. I am still going to have to sew it, but just to keep it in place now. It does as well. Look, it stays in place. Okay. Let me now take this to the sewing machine. I'll show you how to do this one and then I will do the other ones. So I shall have handles that are a meter long. So, you know, if you then hold them double, then it's about 50 centimeters. So that's what I like. So can you see? No, you cannot see. There we go. Okay. And I just put that underneath there. There we go. Okay, so now I go back. Yeah, it'll be up and down. Because it's quite heavy for me to move it about. There we go, see? Let me show you. So this is what it looks like now that I've sewn it on. And I don't think that's too bad. Um, and I will do that for the other handle as well, making sure you do not get this twisted. So make sure you've got it lying nicely and then you wrap it round 
this one here the same way as you did with the other one. I might even spray it with a bit of glue as well. Okay, so I'm going to attach the other ones as well. Okay, so I have put the handles on. And of course, when you put the last handle on, you have to make sure that they're both the same length and make sure that they're not twisted when you put them on. Um, then I, I've got my hot glue gun heating up, so we'll do that in a moment. Then I was looking at these medallion, medallions I made um, and I would put it on like this, but I'm not so sure now. So I started rolling this bit round here and I like that much better. You know, that's much more sophisticated and it looks much cleaner than this. So um, I'm going to undo these and use the yarn to wrap it round anyway. Um, or the cotton cord. This is, if in case you were interested, this is just a magic circle with 12 uh, half double crochets in it. Pulled together really tightly. And then in the last sort of invisible sewing, I sort of attached the little trinkets because of course they had a little thing at the top. But yeah, I am going to undo. <laughs> See, this is the thing. I can change my mind. It's a process. Uh, I wasn't, I attached them with sort of that glue from the spray can and I was not enamored with it. No, um, the idea was there. The idea was good, but no, it d just didn't look right. So I'm going to undo this. Undo the sewn in bit so I get my trinket back there we go and now I'm just going to undo undo the magic circle and why is this not pulling out there we go and I'm just going to undo this <laughs> there we go and I'm going to wrap it round like I did with that bit here. So let's see if that looks better. And it's just to hide the, you know, if, if I had, I, I was just trying the trinkets on their own, but obviously that won't work because my sewing is too big. Um, so yeah, I'm just wrapping this round nicely. Yeah, I think that will work. That's looking much nicer, neater than the than the round things that I made. So there we go. Look at that. So I've got the end dangling down and I am going over that. Maybe I should just put a little bit of hot glue already just so that that's attached. And then put some hot glue here. And then go around it and put that in the hot glue. Ooh, I like using my hot glue gun. See, and it's already stuck down. This we're going to cut off. Oh, yeah, that was on my foot. Never mind. As long as it doesn't burn, <laughs> I'll be fine. Oh, dear. See, yeah, I think that looks much neater than those round things. <laughs> and then I'll put a tree. Oh, yeah, I can feel it getting hot on my foot now. <laughs> Better pick it up. <laughs> oh, health and hygiene. Yeah. Okay. So a little bit more here. thing is I don't have an English plug close to me so it's behind me and that's why it's not so easy to use the glue gun okay so there we go push it down really well cut this off there there we go look that looks much neater than what this would have done don't you think yeah and now of course we are going to attach the scissors to that blob of hot glue, scissors into them and I am sure they will stay, let's remove this bit of hot glue if we can there we go there we are, look at that 
Maybe I could have put it round, but that's fine. I like that. Okay, so I will do all the other ones as well. And I am now going to do the side here. So I'm just putting little bits of hot glue there. There you go. I've got to put another thing in. See, it's nice and hot, so I just go around it and it comes out and I just push it in. Make sure you're underneath your handle there so it doesn't touch it too much. And so any surplus you can just rub off like this. There we go. So I keep that sort of a little bit lower and I just put that in there like that. Yeah, it took me a bit of time to get this lining in nicely um, because I couldn't I had to get this to line up with the actual you know corner of the base so I had to sort of pull it up about a couple of times and do it again but that's fine because that's obviously that glue allows for that so I was quite happy doing that for a little while and it just makes sure that you know it all looks nice and there's not too many folds in there look so it's stuck against the actual. Oh, that is just the most satisfying sound I can think of. <laughs> you know, the feet. Oh. You know, when you wear high heels, you know, the click clack of the high heels on the street. That's something I really, really like as well. And it's just this sound as well. It's just the best sound. <laughs> oh, well, I do hope you can put feet in as well. Because that the reason why you put feet in is not just for the sound. I mean, I'm doing it for the sound. Obviously. Um, but it's not just for the sound. It's also, if you put it down on a surface... It will keep the base off the, the floor just that little bit and it won't get dirty or wet in case you put it on a wet floor. So that's the whole point of having feet on your bags and things. Okay, and I think we've done the whole rim. And I am a little fold there. I'm really pleased with this and the pockets are actually pockets because of course we've got our lining bending with the base uh, with the side of the bag so we can actually fit something in it. Shall we try and fit in a bag of fold? <gasps> Look. Look. Perfect. And then you can put some balls here. Scissors go in here. These are my big scissors, but look, scissors go in there. Or small scissors, obviously. Not for huge scissors. There we go. Then we have here the small pocket, which is on this side. And there we put our crochet hooks. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Look at this. I am really, really happy with it. Right, okay, so keep posted for a, keep here, stay here, for, I'm overexcited now, stay here for a little photo shoot and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for taking part. Bye.
If you've enjoyed this video, please do consider sharing it with others. Thank you so very much for watching. And I also hope to see you on our Facebook group. Join me there.